Hey guys, it is Gwen here, and I wanted to share this really quick tutorial with you uh, from within the Glowforge user interface or the Glowforge website. Uh, I've had a lot of questions recently on how to set up, I'm thinking it's just new Glowforgers, uh, but how to set up your Glowforge to cut in several different functions within one pass. Like for instance, on the Sunflower tiered tray set, we've got sections that cut and sections that score. Most of our designs you'll find will be just uh, cut and score because engrave just, oh, it takes a long time. Uh, but over here, I've already got a material selected. You won't be able to set functions until you've selected some sort of a material. And for this one, just for uh, time's sake, I've just selected the thick basewood plywood. Now over here on this side is where you're going to set your functions. As you notice when I roll my mouse over it, the colors of the different sections light up and change colors. So that tells me that's the section that I'm getting ready to modify. So for instance, when I light this one up, you'll see what ends up being purple over here is these lines over here that are supposed to look kind of like shiplap, uh, this shape within the sunflower pieces that kind of helps add texture, this section down here where it says stand tall, that's to help line up lettering, uh, the shine letters with on that are sitting on top of the banner, that's going to help with aligning letters and making sure they're centered without taking a whole lot of, or it takes a lot of whole, goodness, I'm struggling with my words. It takes a whole lot of the guesswork out. And then the same over here, which is lining up these little sections. So when you click on it, you have your options up across the top here. You want to make sure that you're selecting whatever you're wanting the machine to do. That's how you tell it what it's going to do. So for instance, I'm going to select score. Generally speaking, if I'm scoring something, I use the draft option simply because I'm using it to align anything and I don't need super fancy anything. Now, if you're, if you have something set up and you set it to score and yet it's cutting, you might want to look into your settings themselves. Um, a score is going to be a fairly fast moving Piece, so it's going at 300 and fairly light on the power. We're looking at 30, for instance, on this particular material. Now, if you're using custom material, you'll just want to make sure you're using uh, light power and higher speeds. Over here in this next section, um, as I'm looking, I see it lights up and it's lighting up in turquoise. The letters, the outside of my flowers, the outside of my banner and my tag. So that tells me I'm going to want to make sure it's set to cut, which it is. And then this section, for some reason, is not grouped together with the rest of the cut. But again, looking at this, I can see that it's lettering um, the truck down here and then the flowers. And so that section is also going to be set to cut. So when I send this to my machine, it's going to cut all of the correct pieces. And then these purple sections will be set to score. Let's go ahead and try another file just for instance. We'll pull this one out of the way. Well, I guess I can just go back to the front. We'll make this easier. Let's come back over here to our main space, create, upload, and we will upload oops, one of the April files. Uh, this one seemed to be giving some people a hard time, so we'll try the patriotic file. Now again, it seems like some people are having the patriotic file upload with a couple of different sections, whereas when I upload the patriotic file, I'm only getting two. So that might be something to check on your file. If you're having issues, go back and re-download it. Um, I do know there were some updates done at one point to thicken up some of the lettering, but it shouldn't have changed the settings here, but just an FYI. Anywho. This file here, if you hover over this section, you'll see what's lit up in turquoise is sitting on top of another shape. So that tells me that I'm wanting to score that section because that's going to be my alignment. Now, if you do not want alignment lines, you can absolutely ignore it and turn that off. Uh, but I prefer to have them. It just helps me get everything straight. Now over here under the rest of it uh, will be the cut section. That's going to be the rest of my letters, and it is already set to cut. Now you notice when I pulled it up, originally it had it set to cut. Glowforge doesn't necessarily know what you're wanting all of your bits and pieces to do, so you'll definitely want to just double check these. But once you set them in the Glowforge UI the first time, if you continue to go back to the same um, sheet, I don't know what to call this, the same application for this, it will pull up your previous settings that you have saved in here. Now, if you re-upload it, it won't do that. But that is just a really quick 
tutorial on how to change those. Again, if you're using it from your phone, it's going to be down at the bottom. And if you're using it from a computer, a laptop, uh, it'll be over on the left hand side. And then you change your functions from there. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, I hope that kind of takes some of the guesswork out of things. And I hope you have a fantastic day.